Hey guys, Jordan here doing another Sabre review this evening, and this one is for Joshua Von Warbear. That's right, that is not his real last name, but that's how he wants you to know him on Facebook, and that's what we'll call him. So tonight is his Sabre reveal. It is a Sabre Forge Dissident, um, and he did most of the exterior stuff on his own. Um, when I got the Sabre, he just wanted a Nano Biscuit. Uh, Nano Biscuit V3 install. Um, in fact, I think he asked for Nano Biscuit V2 install, but obviously those don't exist anymore unless you got a stockpile somewhere. Um, but they're not being sold at the moment, as far as I'm aware. Um, could be wrong. But uh, so, without further ado, here is the Saber Forge Dissident without the little wrap. Um, he did the leather himself. He's actually really fantastic with leather. Um, if you guys want a one-of-a-kind Jedi belt, I mean, he is phenomenal with leather. Uh, I have a Jedi belt that I'm actually going to be reviewing, and I don't review Jedi belts, but his belt is so good, and the pouches that are on the belt are so good, and it's all handmade, it's all handcrafted, and it's absolutely amazing. But it's not about the belt right now, it's about a saber. So we have the Saber Forge Dissident, we have his beautiful leather wrap that he put on here. Now when he sent me the saber, all this was just covered, I don't know what he used, uh, Gorilla Glue or some kind of crud, but it was just covered in goop. Um, so I broke out the elbow grease and obviously cleaned that up for him because you always want to send the saber back better than when you, re better than when you received it. Um, even though he told me don't worry about it, I cleaned that up for him anyways. Um, he has a weathered apprentice plug in there, which I think looks fantastic with this saber. Um, sometimes that other blade plug covers up the small details of this hilt, like the emitter is rounded right here. And so this is a perfect blade plug for this hilt. Um, other than that, I just swapped out the, uh, I just swapped out the switch. Um, it had a, a latching switch. I put a momentary switch in there. I did put a black switch in there because I thought it looked really nice with the uh, black emitter. And uh, on top of that, I was pretty much out, I believe, of the silver momentary switches I had. And all I had was silver latching switches. And I wasn't going to have to go through and get the momentary to latching converter and all that mess. So I just put the black one in. And Joshua, if you don't like it, you can uh, paint it silver and no one will know the wiser. So uh, we have a 2.0 cover tech knob right here. Silver uh, matches the... Uh, this area of the pommel and on this uh, saber he has uh, Dark Disciple font 1 and uh, Star Killer um, Star Killer 2 Force, uh, Force Unleashed 2 is the second font and uh, so we'll fire that up nothing can extremely loud I'm actually gonna phase it towards the speaker so really deep dark hum uh, it's still not it's not electric but it's just a really dark hum really cool blaster deflect flash of uh, our clash sound it makes really, really deep hum movement which is really cool and then our second font is the uh, Star Killer uh, Force Awaken or Force Unleashed too? Sorry, excuse me. Betrayed by Vader for the last time, a new journey begins. And this one's not near as deep. Um, I'm thinking this is one of the earlier hums, uh, one of the earlier fonts that was created. It's not, it doesn't have as many tones to it. It's, it's pretty basic, pretty simple. I like it, I enjoy it, but it's definitely more of a simple uh, standard sound fonts, I would think, uh, for any particular saber. Really cool uh, clash sound. And then we have our, this is a green, uh, I believe it's a 12 watt plus LED from Saber Forge. Um, the lead was already in the Saber when he sent it to me, so I'm actually not positive what it is, but it's still extremely bright. Really nice, really nice color. This is actually a really beautiful green, green, green color. It looks mint green on the uh, on the camera, and I don't know why my camera has been doing that to my greens, and my reds lately. My reds look pink, my greens look bluey. And this is a really good camera, so it's, I don't know what's going on, but 
You'll enjoy it all the same. Let's put a uh, board in there and I'm going to change it back to the other font. Board in there. It's blade. Nothing can. And we'll put a blade in there. Here we go, Saber Forge 12 watt plus green, I believe. It might be a 12 watt, it might be, I don't think it's a six, it's too bright to be a six. But extremely bright. That was beautiful with this hilt. I love the leather wrap you put on here. This doesn't have flash on clash. It does flicker, but it doesn't have clash because it's a it's the Saber Forge lead and they don't provide flash on clash, at least with their standard 12 watt plus LEDs. I'm sure there are or there are um, RGBA uh, sabers have flash on clash capability. So you see a little flicker there. And that's about it, guys. This is a very simple but elegant hilt. I love this hilt. I'm actually going to be doing a couple more of these for a customer. I'm doing a twin set, um, and I'm really excited. Those should be coming very soon. So we'll be doing a twin set of those, which should be pretty, pretty exciting. So if you guys are ever interested, uh, this is the Saber 4 Dissident, and uh, Normally it has a little wrap right here and mine actually has a wrap from the emitter all the way down to here and then my own leather wrap I did on mine. Um, you can see that video uh, also on my YouTube channel. But thank you very much Joshua for hitting me up for this install. Um, I was really glad to do it and uh, I know you got others coming my way and I'm excited to do those as well. I hope you enjoy this. Um, have fun with it, man. And everybody who's watching my channel, thank you so much for uh, hanging with me. Uh, I really love doing these. I got a lot of other new um, review sabers coming up um, to keep the reviews going. I'm going to be doing a lot more install um, reveals. Um, so please like this, like this video. Um, subscribe, 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 and check out all my other channels. Um, and I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I wouldn't be doing this without you. So... Thank you so much for hanging with me, and thanks for watching.